In this video, I'll be painting MODOK for Marvel Crisis Protocol. Welcome back to Painting Protocol from the Tales of War games, and in this episode, we're going to be painting MODOK. Now, with MODOK, he's got three kind of main colour parts. You've got obviously his face, you've got all of the chair, his kind of head surround, all behind this. This is all going to be a kind of a muted gold colour, and then You've got his legs, his arms, and then his headband as well, which is going to be a kind of metallic purple colour. So the first thing we want to be doing is we want to be getting all of this gold down because this is going to be the best colour the base coat in because if you do all the flesh first and then you go into the gold, if you get a bit of gold on that flesh, it's harder to tidy up. So all that you want to do is you just want to make sure that you've got a nice even coat um, of Retributor Armour all the way around, it's a really nice gold paint, it covers well, flows nicely and it looks great as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to base coat all of this in. If you're unsure of which parts to paint, have a look on the box art to get an idea of exactly where to go. But what we'll do, we will fill in all of these different parts. Um, we need to do all of the, like I said, all of this, all the parts down here. You need the, every single bit of this chair here. You want to get all the way down to this kind of thruster part here. On this side, that ch chair piece obviously, that. Now this arm, we're going to be doing the shoulder pads. So these parts here, you're not doing the arm because we're going to be doing that in the metallic purple. And then for the body, you want to be doing all of this and the surround that kind of continues all the way around but you want to stop here at these kind of a uh, this raised bit here because that's going to be in metallic purple but yeah you just want to go all the way around and we'll do that so what i'll do i'll base coat all of that and then we'll be back for the next step here's modok with all of the gold done and as you can see it gives his seat and his headpiece nice solid covering of gold but we need to mute this all down and make it a bit of a warmer duller gold and for that we're going to be using Gilliman Flesh Contrast. Now you could get the same effect with Reichland Flesh Shade. I prefer the contrast mainly because it flows easier and it does also um, give a little bit of more contrast than you need. But all that you want to do is just going over everything letting it all settle in all of the crevices but you just want to kind of make sure you get good even coverage across everything. Make sure there's no areas where that's at pulls. And you're just going to go around and cover everything that you've done in gold. Now, we're not going to be doing the flesh at this stage, even though it would make sense if we're going to be using this contrast paint for the flesh. Mainly because we're also going to give this a light dry brush of silver or chrome um, once this contrast is done. and. If we get a little bit of silver on this flesh and we've already done all the contrast and it's going to be really hard to fix that up so it's easier to do all of the gold now do the um, silver dry brushing and then go in and do the skin afterwards so what we'll do we'll go all the way around like i say you just want to do a nice even coat everywhere make sure it gets picks up all of the uh kind of the edges and all the lines but you don't want to make sure that you've not flooded it at all and it uh, kind of pulls everywhere. But if you go all the way around, Gilliman Flesh Contrast, and we'll be back for the next stage. And with that Gilliman Flesh dried, you can see it's just dulled down and darkened all of the metals. So what we're going to be doing is, the next step we're going to be doing a dry brush of Vallejo Chrome. But for this, we're going to only use a very small dry brush, and we're going to wipe off a lot of it. Just we only get a teeny bit in the bristles and for this we're just going to go down and we want to highlight all the edges but we just want to do it very lightly we don't want to go too crazy we just want to kind of go down you can just see with the chrome it's just picking up the kind of very top edges with a very subtle highlight and um, like i said the whole point of using that gilman flesh was to darken it all down and get rid of a lot of that shine so you don't want to give too much shine but 
just want to do a nut so it picks up some of the edges. And you just want to go around. Now when you do your dry brushes, try and keep it all in one direction. So you want to all go down and downward. Keep going like that and then you go like that. It will muck up all the uh, um, it will muck up all the strokes that you're doing. So just go around, try and pick up all of the edges that you can. Things like that on the corner, you can see it will just pick up the very corner of it all. Um, you just want to go around and just do it as light as you can. Just picking up everything. So we're going to go around, do all of that, and then we'll uh, be up for the next step. And now with that chrome dry brush, you can see it's just picked up the edges. But you've still got that kind of darkened uh, gold colour everywhere. And that is everything you need to do for a suit. Apart from this little middle bit, which we'll be doing later on. Now, for the next part, we're not doing the skin. We're going to be doing the arms. And then this headband as well. And we're going to be doing that in lead belcher. Now, like I said, during the gold part, we're doing that now because... If we do the skin and then we go do that headband and get some silver on it, it's going to be a pain to do that tidy up. So what you want to do, just want a nice even coat of lead belcher, and you just want to go over all of this that we're going to be doing in the purpley silver in a moment. So you're doing all of this headband here, all the way there. You need to be picking up this top part here. And this part here and then again you want to be doing these legs here these arms and this arm here now obviously as you get towards the gold areas just be a bit more careful with your base coating um, if you do mess it up then just tidy it up with a little bit of retributor armor and then depending how much you've messed it up you might need to put a little bit of Gilliman flesh on but We'll do all the lead belcher and we'll be back for the next step. And then with that lead belcher done, what you want to be doing is using Drucci Violet. Or you could use um, the Contrast Magos Purple, but Drucci Violet, you just want to go all over the lead belcher just to tint it. Now, depending on how much colour you want, you could let this dry and then go over again. But we're going to do one layer first, see how it looks after that, and then decide from there. So. Just Drucci Violet over all of the lead belcher. The only place we're not going to be doing it is this middle part up here and this little gem here because they're going to be red. But what we're going to do is do all the Drucci Violet first. If you end up getting a little bit of lead, tidy it up with some lead belcher and then we'll be back for the next step. With just one layer of the Drucci Violet, you've got Modox armor there. We don't need another coat. Now the next thing we're going to be doing is Blood Angels Red Contrast on this red, uh, this silver panel here and this gem here. Now you need to be as careful as you can when you do these because you don't want to contaminate all the purple. But you just want to go around, pick it up. The same with this one as well. Just go around and just make sure you only get those areas there. And there you go. So we'll let that dry. And then the next thing will be the face. And with that red done, we're now going to go on to using Kilimin Contrast Flesh for all of the face. Now for this, we want to cover everything, including the teeth and the eyes, even though we are going to go over them later. So just to kind of make sure you get all the shade into all the depths possible. Now, just want to be a bit careful when you go all the way around. You don't want to kind of contaminate the purple metallics that you've done and you don't want to splotch any on all of the gold that we've already worked on so just go around give it a good decent coverage um, but you do want to make sure it's not pooling anywhere and just go around make sure it's in all of the recesses across everything and then we'll be back for the next stop and with that contrast Gilliman flesh you've now got a good base tone for all of Modoc's face now what we're going to be using is Army Painter Barbarian Flesh. We'll be using that as the next layer on the flesh. And for this you need to basically just layer back over everything. Um, but you want to kind of leave everything whereabouts it's got the shadows. And try and leave that all in there. So you just want to go over and just do a nice thin coat 
highlighting everything. Now with this paint it will take a couple of layers just to pick up everything and all the layers going over. Trying to leave all of those shadows like I said but you just want to pick up everything. Now obviously the eyes and the teeth will leave that because we're going to be doing those in a completely different, um, in different colours in a bit. We're going to be doing kind of white eyes and then we're just doing a normal uh, teeth colour so it's just barbarian flesh all the way through picking up the highest edges and then we'll be back for the next step. Once that's dry and you've got the solid skin tone you can see then you've got all the shade in the recesses as well as this skin tone and the final highlight we're going to be doing and this is only going to be a tiny highlight is Kislev Flesh um, and you just want to do this on the most upright part so you just want to go around picking up just the very top parts um, you want to be doing kind of like this lip just all the way around and this is a kind of an optional step but it just adds a little bit of extra tone into the skin tones and you just go around and like I said you just want the kind of highest points of the model you don't need to go crazy on this you just want to go in you want to kind of keep that barbarian flesh showing for most of it but you just want to then go and highlight everything so what we'll do we'll highlight all of this up um, and then we'll be going on to the eyes the teeth and then it will be the smoke at the bottom so be up for the next step in a minute and with those final highlights done the skin is complete now the next thing we're going to be doing is the teeth the eyes and i know i said just a smoke but obviously we've got his hair to do so the next thing we're going to be doing is the teeth and for this because we've got that shade in there already we don't really need to do much we're just going to use some Vallejo game color bone white and just with a small brush just going in on each of the teeth and we're just going to be filling them all in with this color so just go up to where about the gaps are we're just going to fill it all in and we'll do the bone white and we'll be back for the next step and with the teeth done we're then going to go in with Vallejo sea grey and for this we're just going to do the eyes and finally once we've done that uh, Vallejo C grey we're going to go in with some pure white you can use whichever brand you want um, I'm going to be using white scar but you can use Vallejo's or whichever one you prefer and we're just going to go over just a thin layer over both sides of the eye Give the proper whiteness of his eyes there you go so now for the base of the hair we're going to be covering it in german camo dark brown um, and this will just be a nice easy shade easy base coat that we're going to be putting across everything now obviously as you get up to the metal ends just make sure you don't get any on the metallic parts but all that we're going to do, we're going to base coat this all in this uh, medium brown. And then we're going to add a Agrax Earth Shade wash. So we'll do those two steps and then we'll be back for the next bit. And now with the German camo medium brown done with the Agrax wash, you can see it's all settled nicely in all the recesses. And all that we have to do now is just a little bit of a highlight on all of the top ends of the hair, so all the kind of raised parts, and we're going to be using Bane Blade Brown for this. Now you don't have to go too crazy, we're just going to go in just nicely thin all the way down, just picking out all the strands. Now you could, if you want to, use a like dry brush if you want to speed it up and just um, pick out the highest parts. It's completely up to you. I'm just doing a kind of nice little highlight just to make sure you kind of just do enough on each of the strands if you do mess up anywhere just tidy it up with some German camo brown but just go around highlighting all the edges and we'll be back for the next step and with the Bane Blade Brown done that's his hair all sorted now we've only got two bits left to do we're going to be doing this little bit in here which is like his health monitor style thing and then we're going to be doing the smoke so the first thing we need is Mechanica Standard Grey and you're just going to go in here and fill all of this in. You don't need a lot and just be careful as you go around that you don't get any on the gold. You're just filling this all in with Mechanica Standard Grey. 
and while the grey dries we're then going to go in with Vallejo dark sea grey for all of the smoke now obviously go all the way round make sure you get a good coverage of everything as you go around here just make sure the little flaps that go down for the exhaust the gold you don't get covered in white but you just want to go around you want to cover everything all in and then we're just going to uh, be back for the next step and now with that dark sea grey uh, dried you want to be using Vallejo sky grey and this is a kind of very grey whitey colour and we're just going to use a dry brush I'm using a makeup brush and see the kind of tip we're just going to go over the top I just want to highlight most of it like this now you could go in with a normal brush and do it but I find for the smoke it's easier to dry brush it all on because then it leaves some of that dark grey underneath you just want to go along highlighting everything make sure you get a nice good coat and then what we'll do we'll be back for the next step now for the bit in the middle before we do that you just want to kind of go along like that so it picks up the edges for it and leaves most of the dark grey in there so what we'll do we'll do all of this and then we'll be back for the final step and then with that sky grey done you can see it's picked up a lot of it but we're just going to go in with one final high a dry brush this is going to be a pure white and we just want to get as much of it off the brush as we can we're just going to go in on the highest points and just dry brush down and you just want to pick it out a little bit more again that we're just going to highlight just the highest points leave the dark grey in the top areas you can see it just adds that smoke effect so what we'll do we'll go around we'll finish this off again for this bit you just want to dry brush that way just so it picks up the lines while leaving all the dark in there so we'll finish all of this and then we'll get them based and we'll see the finished result and there's the finished model if you like that video please hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel grow Check out the Tales of Crisis podcast where we chat all things Marvel Crisis Protocol. If you want to see any specific characters painted up for the Painting Protocol series, let me know in the comments below and we'll be sure to cover them in future episodes. But until next time, take care and we'll see you soon.